Hi guys, today's video is going to be an Amazon buyer's guide for face paint. I have had so many beginners contact me lately and ask for very specific links to product, what they should buy to get started. So I'm gonna go through specifically each item. A lot of these items are what I started face painting with. My first face painting order was from Amazon. That's where I found face paint and I made a lot of mistakes. I bought some products that were not so good, some things I didn't need, and I wish somebody would have told me what to get. So if you're thinking about face painting or you wanna start practicing face painting, this video is for you. I am gonna go through a few different options of good palettes, some individual paint, some split cakes, and some basics that you might not think of if you want to start a face painting business. So I also want you guys to understand that buying face paint from Amazon, you're actually buying it from a face painting company. So the face painting companies that supply most of the face paint for all of us, uh, Silly Farm, Facepaint.com, and even some individual mom and pop shops, they put their inventory out and available on Amazon. So you are still buying from a reputable source that you could return the product to or go back to if you need to. So I don't want you guys to be nervous about buying face paint on Amazon. I still buy my face paint from Amazon. During the height of the face painting season, when I know I need new white paint next week, I always buy it from Amazon. I'm a Prime member, I get it in two days, I know it's gonna be here and it's consistent. Um, things like my lipstick applicators, if I have a huge festival coming up, instead of placing an independent order at a face painting shop or a beauty supply store, I go to Amazon and I click reorder. It's very, very easy and convenient for me and it's something that has worked really, really well. So I think it's a great way to start and I'm gonna go over all sorts of different products that are options for you guys to help you. I've gotten a lot of requests lately from people that don't just want suggestions, you wanted actual links to product that you could click and buy. So I will put all the links down below of the palettes and the split cakes and even you know the towels that I use for face painting. So if you need some guidance to start face painting and you don't know what to buy, this video is for you. Stay tuned and I will go through it all for you. I'm gonna start by showing you guys a really good palette of solids. This is Craze FX. Craze is a newer brand, but I have tested it and it's very good paint. In this kit, you do get black and white, you get all the primary colors, and one of the things I like best about this kit is that they have secondary colors like pink and a lighter green and more of a turquoise blue. That is a really, really nice addition, and this is so well priced. You also get two small brushes with it, so this is a wonderful choice for a simple, solid palette to start out face painting with. Another great one is the Split Cake Palette by Craze. This has a little bit of everything in it. I could absolutely paint an entire gig with just these one strokes because it really covers every design you could possibly need. And again, the price is really good. $25 for all of those split cakes. Wonderful way just to dip your toe into face painting and start practicing. This palette also comes with a little brush, so if you wanted to get this palette and use the one strokes and then just dip into the white or the black for line work, if you're just doing Halloween designs on your kids or something, this would be an excellent palette for that. I wouldn't purchase just this split cake palette to go do a festival and then try to use the black and the white out of it for line work. That will annoy you. But if you're just painting your kid for Halloween or you just wanna have fun at a birthday party or something like that, you could get away with just purchasing that split cake palette. Next, we have Diamond Effects White. This I purchased a couple times, as you can see, and I actually purchased the 90 gram 
pot of paint more. So on that link, I think it says I purchased it probably like 20 times. But this is the 30 gram. It's plenty of white face paint to get you started and get you practicing. If you are going to be doing a decent amount of face painting, you want to get an extra pot of white because it's actually the color you're going to use the most. Diamond Effects is a wonderful, wonderful face paint and their white is highly sought after. So a really, really good choice for white face paint. I also love the Diamond Effects Black. I often buy the 90 gram in this as well, and then I depot it into smaller containers because it's just easier that way and more efficient. But DFX Black and White are definitely one of my number one products to buy. For rainbow cakes, I love tag, and there's a lot of tag paint on Amazon. It's well-priced. These pots of rainbow cakes will last you so long, and I think in general, tag paint is just very underrated. It's a wonderful brand of face paint, high quality, pigmented, and well-priced. So most of the face paint I'm gonna show you from now on is tag, because it's awesome. You can see that I last purchased this one in 2016, and I used this color for every Everything. Tigers, princesses with my stencils for flower designs. It's a beautiful, beautiful rainbow cake. Now this traditional rainbow cake by Tag is also a great pick. It's $12. That is such a good price. And I really like that it has pink and purple in it as well. The boys don't care and they don't notice, but it's a nice touch because it's a full ranged rainbow. Another one of my favorites from Tag is the Neon Rainbow. Now this isn't a must have in the beginning, but if you're interested in UV or black light parties, this is a gorgeous rainbow cake. And it's so bright and really, really fun. I also love this Tag Rainbow Cake. This is such a good one for tigers, for princesses. It's Great for boys, great for girls. So if you're looking for a warm rainbow cake, this one I highly recommend. For a cool toned cake, I really like this Craze FX rainbow cake. I own this and I use it. It's very nice. These Craze rainbow cakes are a little bit smaller. They're 25 grams, but they're $6. That is an absolute steal. And there's also a wide range of craze cakes available in this line, as you can see. So I always tell people when they're starting out, get a warm cake, a cool toned cake, and a true rainbow cake. You could do that with Tag or with this Craze FX line and really have a nice range and variety to start face painting with. And for six bucks, you might be able to buy them all. Very well priced and very, very good high quality paint. If you'd rather buy individual split cakes rather than in a palette, Tag again is gonna be one of your best options. These are 30 gram splits. This one is Dolphin and they really have some of the most amazing basic one strokes. Ocean is a great blue. Dragon I have purchased at least 10 times. Magpie is one of my favorites. It's the black, silver, and white. You can use that for everything. Stargazer is great for roses. Snake is not only wonderful for snakes, but for dragons, for the Hulk, for monsters. Those six split cakes will get you through every single design you could possibly imagine. Frozen crowns, mermaids, unicorns. They are universal and can be switched up into hundreds of designs and they are a great way to start. If you want to purchase larger solids, then I highly recommend these tag 50 gram pots with solid colors that are half and half. The reason I like these is because instead of getting 50 grams of one purple or one green, you do get a dual tone. One of the reasons I like this is because you can use the center of that pot of paint as a split and have a dual tone by running a flat brush over it. You're gonna have a dark purple and a light purple. 
It's also just a great way to get solid colors without getting stuck with 50 grams of a green you're never going to use. You get to try out using those solids without committing to too much. This is what I started with. I started with those tag split colored 50 gram pots. You can get all of them and have your full Roy G. Biv range and have individual solids, but have a lot of options. If you wanna add a few stencils to your kit, I really like this snowflake stencil. It has the dots as well, so you can use the dots for other designs, and nobody wants to hand paint a snowflake. So this is one of my must-haves. The star stencil is also one of my favorites. I still use this stencil probably more than any other stencil in my kit. Great for girls and boys, so versatile. As you're shopping stencils, you'll notice BAM will group some together. So at the bottom here, you've got a mermaid stencil added in with my other two faves for 24 bucks. That's a great choice as well. This reptile stencil is a must have for snakes, dragons, monsters. You have to get the reptile one. It will add so much detail to your designs. Everyone knows you can't face paint without glitter. This glitter pack from Silly Farm is such a great deal and it gives you all the glitters. They're already in poofer bottles so you can just poof them right on the design. Another great item from Silly Farm through Amazon is this brush set. This will give you the tools to do all sorts of different designs. Very nice quality brushes. They're gonna last you a long time. You get a flat brush in this set to do all your one stroke work. You get three smaller round brushes, a petal brush, which is really amazing for all those double dipped petal designs and a filbert brush. This is a solid set to get started. And for $30, it's really nice because these are professional brushes that are gonna last you a really long time. One of my all time favorite Amazon buys is this Low Cornell Flora brush. This is gonna do a lot of work for you for $12 and make you look like a professional even if you've just started face painting. I have a lot of videos on this brush to help you out too. To clean all those brushes out, this Artist Brush Basin for $8.59 is a wonderful deal. And one of the reasons I really like this is because it has the textured bottom. So if you're really painting at gigs or plan to paint at gigs, having that textured bottom is gonna allow you to agitate the paint and get your brushes cleaner faster, which is important when you're painting at gigs and time is money. It also has the nice round holes in the side where you can place brushes that have paint on them. So I'm a big fan of this one. It's always nice to have some place to wipe your brushes, to clean off the water. I recently purchased these and I am in love with them for face painting. They have the plastic grips on the bottom so if you hang them over a chair or put them on a table they don't move and they are super absorbent so they suck all the water out of your paintbrush if you've got too much water or too much paint on your brush. These are amazing. My favorite sponges are these gold synthetic sponges. You get 25 in a pack for $13 and I always cut them in half. So in the end, I get 50 sponges out of it and I really, really love these. I also like these petal sponges from Silly Farm. This is a six pack and this is really gonna help you when you're starting out sponging because it can be intimidating and really hard to manipulate sponges. So these are gonna help you with those butterflies and getting in the corner of the eyes. So I highly recommend at least getting one pack of these so that you can try both sets of sponges and you have some options. Now more than ever, it's very important not to use your brushes on kids' mouths. And I've always used these disposable applicators. They're $6 for 200 of them or $12.99 for 500. This is one of those items that I run to Amazon and buy last minute and it gets to me in two days. They're disposable, they work very well, and I highly recommend these. Lastly, I do want to share this makeup bag with you guys. I do have this in large and it's a great way to throw together a nice small kit that you can carry to parties. Another great option would just be to go find an old caboodle or something like that. But if you want a more professional presentation for your kit and you want to keep them organized and put away when you're not using them, this is a really, really nice option. And the sections in the bottom of this are a 
adjustable so that you can move them to fit the different sizes of rainbow cakes or split cakes or even create a container and a section for your sponges which I have done with my kit. I hope this video was helpful and I hope it takes some of the guesswork out of how to start face painting. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's easiest if you just comment down below and I will respond to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Amazon shopping and I will see you guys in my next video soon.